Hi guys, it's Yvette here again with another layout for you. Um, this one's using some Coco Vanilla Studio paper called More Than Words. Um, this particular piece is called Precious and I have fussy cut a whole bunch of flowers from that. I'm also using this pink ledger piece and the name of that piece is Noteworthy. I'm using a piece of adhesive foam under my photo and I've fussy cut all these flowers from uh, the piece of um, precious paper and these are little uh, chipboard things I've cut from the Celebrate um, chipboard piece and I'm going to use Liquitex gesso on the background underneath the flowers. So that's what we're going to do to start with. I'm using my um, silicone brush and I'm just putting some gesso straight onto the noteworthy piece of paper the pink ledger paper and I'm smoothing it down and going in a C uh, pattern because that's where my florals are going to be so I just want a little bit of um, neutral background so that they stand out a little bit more so I've done gone over it a couple of times with the brush uh, and I'm just using my finger and I'm just going to um, brush the edges a little bit so that with my finger so that it blends in a little bit and it doesn't take very long to dry so do that pretty quickly. Just going to clean my brush before it dries on there and uh, put this aside to dry and now I'm going to add some foam adhesive um, on the back of my um, photo. It's just um, sticky on one side so I usually put that side on the photo and then I can use glue or double-sided tape to um, adhere it further. And these are the leftovers from the flowers, the fussy cut flowers. So I've just got quite a big corner there so I'm just going to cut a little piece out. I'm not too worried if it doesn't go all the way around. I really just wanted it on the bottom um, right hand corner um, but I had enough to do a little bit more than that so I've uh, just managed to have enough to go around that corner um, and I've used my distressor to do the edges. You can use a pair of scissors if you want to to distress the edges or just leave it flat. I'm going to put some double sided tape on there, adhere that onto my um, piece of paper and then that's ready to get put onto my layout. Okay, I've gone away and I've stitched with my machine and white thread uh, around the edge and I've adhered it onto a piece of white cardstock uh, and I also stitched a big circle in the center all the way around a few times, uh, really randomly. I just think it adds a nice bit of detail. Now I'm going to spend some time um, finding a position for all my florals and my little chipboard cut. Uh, I really want to cover the edge of that, the hard edge underneath the flowers. I'm going to sit it up because I want it to um, go over the edge of my photo, the corner of my photo. So I just need to sit it up the same height as the photo. So I've just put foam on the right on the corner as you can see and then I can cover that bit with the florals as I go. So I haven't stuck anything down at this stage um, and I actually have cut out too many flowers and I don't end up using all of them but um, and I do cut a few apart at the end here but you'll see that in a minute so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time fussing around with the flowers and where I want them and then I'll adhere them down.
Okay, we're on the home run now and I've started to adhere everything. I'm just going through and carefully uh, using some tacky glue to adhere everything in the spots that I've got them. Uh, I did leave quite a lot of that footage in of me mucking around so <laughs> that um, you could see how long it does take to me to get everything together. It doesn't just happen as quick as the video. I do spend quite a lot of time um, messing around trying different spots for things I guess and um, then once I, I'm happy with them then I go through and stick them all down so that's what I'm doing here um, that's a really big cluster that I've got in my hand and I actually put um, tacky glue on top of the chipboard frame so it sits up a little bit which is nice and it covers that whole corner of um, the chipboard frame that one I've put underneath the chipboard frame because I'm going to do a bit of dimensional stuff and put another flower on top there like that so uh, I know it covers up most of the ones underneath but you can still see them a little bit and it just looks more like a a, a, um, a bunch going around there which I, I really like that so I do do a, a few um, extra pieces on top to give it some dimension I like a chunky layout uh, I'm going to use this little chipboard word that uh, came in the packet with the um, the little leaves that are on the photo already um, and I just want to place it completely under the photo so I've just because my glue is still tacky and wet I've moved the flowers aside a little bit so that I can fit it underneath my photo rather than moving it along to the right so I've just moved everything a little bit out of the way and I've got that right in the middle now so I'm happy with that I feel like I need something in that little bare spot up the top so I'm going to tuck something in up there and and a little bit under there too but that red one I think it's going on the left there under there to fill that little gap and it's not completely perfect um, it's a bit random but I quite like it like that I don't like that little grey leaf on that top pink flower so that's why I'm going to cut these um, flowers apart and put something on top there so I'm just trimming this flower up to go on there I can't decide looks like it's going there Ooh, no it's going underneath I feel like that and then I go randomly and put it I feel like it needs to come around a little bit more at the top but I've randomly put that yellow one down the bottom now Okay, I want to add some little pearls and so I couldn't decide what colour but I've decided to go with the champagne pearls so I'm just going to stick a few of those on and we're nearly at the end of the video so uh, once I stick the pearls down and I do put quite a lot on I like to put them in groups of three I am a bit random with those but they're mostly in groups of three um, I've just got a little tool that picks them up a bit easier because they're hard to get off 
with my big fat fingers. Um, so I'm just going to dot those around everywhere and then I'll add some journaling um, with just a black sharpie and I actually write on the photo. I possibly could have written under the title, the chipboard title, because uh, there was a nice bit of white space there, but I decided that I'm going to go with writing on the bottom of the photo because there's a bit of path there and it kind of looks a bit ordinary. So I'll fill it with some journaling. Oh, not some journaling. I'm just going to put her name and date on there. So that's um, going to go on in a minute. And then we're almost done. I think I'd like to add some sparkly spray so um yeah I think some spray some sparkly spray would be nice so I get some um sheer shimmer sparkle spray um it's sort of a silvery color uh it's really pretty but I'm going to cover my photo because no doubt I will get it everywhere um give a few hits with just the spray nozzle but then I'm going to take the whole nozzle out and I'm just going to dot some big drips around because I like those a lot. <clears throat> Take those off, let it dry and um, I think that's my layout finished. Thanks for watching and for uh, sticking through the whole thing because it was pretty long and here's some close-ups for you.